Hi, welcome to TechRank, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice projects idea. Personal budget database system. So this project is based on the SQL database programming where we are going to program the backend database and creating a database system for personal budget. The structure will be of the database based on the expense of the user. The objective and the requirement of this project will be we need to make a database which is maintained in a table. The table contains transaction ID, user ID, passcode or password status, the payment status or the budget status or the credit status, category, date of purchase, price and many more. So we have to make a database connection and make a table master table budget. The transaction will be of auto generated and the varchar type using sequence. User ID, password, email are unique key or primary key you can mention with the, for the constraint practice and defined as in varchar type. Status category or varchar type, date of purchase and date of birth, date type and price will be your number type that means a cost so let's take a look in detail about this type of personal budget database system so here is my master budget table which has user id red circle is mentioning that it's a not null type of column so user id password email date of birth first name transaction id the yellow circle primary key it cannot be null and it is a unique it cannot be repeat so transaction we have to maintain it in a unique value date of transaction transaction status category payment type budget status and the balance which is says that it is indicate the quantity to calculate using aggregate method so in the balance we are going to check out the number it will be a number type so the cost and the expense and the balance these are the numbers the calculation value from the column now we have a personal details table or you can maintain it in a views where it contains a user id email date of birth and balance just to display the value of a user sequence transaction this is a sequence which will auto generate it, the id transaction id which will be not null so make it a transaction in a unique and the not null value we are going to maintain it in a sequence views category transaction id again it's gonna be related from your master budget table and calculate the expense and the balance now this is the design the solution of that problem in a design form let's take a look at the statement on the script form so it is gonna be implemented with the seven steps First, we'll have the master budget table, which has a constraint declaration or any kind of column description. Budget sequence. In this step, we are going to create the sequence for transaction ID to maintain its auto generation value and unique and the not null value. Third, practice DML statements. So here we are going to insert the values and updating and alter table, all kind of manipulative language, what we have learned in the SQL database programming. Step four, we are going to create the category table in a views form, or you can have your own sub table, which is related to practice the forum constraint. In this step, what you can do, you can just take the transaction ID and create a table or create a view and link it and display the values. Step five, group by clause and calculate the total expense of our budget like balance expense and based on that you can create a rule that comes in step six add rule to show out of control budget or it is in under the budget so under and over budget status to add the rule in the budget status and the seven we are going to show the user defined report now let's take a look at these steps one by one so first step master budget table this will be the query. You can create your statements in a different ways. Here I'm just showing you an example, one of them. So here, one of the way I am writing a query, it's like create table master budget table name, user ID varchar which is not null, password not null, email ID not null. Because when we are going to have a transaction, we need to maintain the not null constraints. 
date of birth will be your date time date of transaction will be again a date time transaction id again it's a not null but since we have maintained it in a yellow circle that means it's going to be in a unique constraints a primary key so primary key is like not null and the unique ness has to be maintained so not null transaction status is your bracket type category bracket type payment type will display the uh, payment status or payment type with if it is a uh, cash credit debit or online so that is the status will maintain in the payment type budget status it is over or under in the cost or the balance or you can maintain any other uh, variable or column name and constraint here this is the way we learn that we create a primary key so in this situation i am maintaining the transaction id as a primary key so add first a name later to practice alter table statements so we can add more columns all just need to practice the alter table and balance and expense will be a calculation which is going to be used by aggregate method sequence budget create sequence budget and the minimum value will be 1 maximum you can maintain it and start with 1 and increment by 1 and cycle drop sequence just in case if you feel like it is not correct you can drop it use it in insert statement for transaction id for transaction auto id generation now hint you can add sequence to table value using next value for and define unique constraints now this is what the step 3 practice dml statement we are in this script i am trying to insert the different types of data we need to have some data to see the sample how it works in a user defined report in the last step so let's enter some values so first thing we need to alter the table and add first name just to practice the alter table statement insert into master budget values and these are the values i have entered So this is one of the way we can insert. There are some other ways you can insert the values. We'll show you in the demonstration. So this is your user ID, then password, then email address, then date of birth, and the sys date is your system data, the transaction date, the current date. That will system will take it. And this is the syntax of the sequence budget that the transaction ID retrieval where I am using the sequence. or for this table so and then next we have credit that's your uh, payment status payment type then category the travel the paid the budget status under budget and the cost and the first name what we have added in the last so this is how we add the script and uh, execute it and then it will work all you can do insert the data in table by different methods like randomly the run time in execution what you can do it using this type of structure uh, this type of syntax that will ask you to enter the values now create views category views as select user id from master budget where category equals to grocery and user id is this so all i'm here just making a different views for a different type of category what you can do try to create more views or practice views creation based on expense or payment type or many more as step 5 group by class and calculate total expense of budget so in this step what we are going to do we are going to collect the information collect the data from the table first so this step will help you this is not required it is one of the way as i mentioned is just that the and the different type of values what you have from the master table now once the select the first query is execute you will see all the different transaction for the category grocery now next step if you see next query if you see this will ask you the category name and give you the total expense had on that category what you can do in this add more aggregate methods to calculate periodic average expense for example from this date to this date between using the between operator and updated in the budget status or added or display it now add rule to show out of control budget so just in case if a user enters some value and he has to be alert like it is over 
expensive now your budget is over so in that case what you can do set up a threshold value for a particular query or category and display the value that budget status is over try to add more conditions for more precise output and display it in the view or in the table step 7 will show you the user defined report generation so here you can see this type of report will easily understand and readable to understand like okay this is my over budget and this is not my uh, this is still i have some space to spend more money so to maintain the money and budget this is a very important and interesting tool to work on let's take a look at the demonstration how it works in the sql developer ide so this is my sql developer what i can do i can show you the this is my connection from here we can create a connection and display the get the database connection server from here and i already have this one so what you can do just define any other color if you have and just give the parameters and try to test it and it will show you the status success and then connect now i gave the name budget and in this budget database connection i have my master budget table user id password email id date of birth date of transaction transaction id transaction status category payment type budget status cost first name so once this table is done if you see the sql if you want you can remove the not null query by simply go to the table right click and edit or column constraints from here you can add or if you don't want you can skip it so so this is already not null okay now this is my table structure and the here i have inserted some val value tech ranch mark and alex if you want to add some more you can simply add it and insert some more values so suppose now i have my username some random for practice and november system date and transaction will be as it is credit instead of credit we can have cash in dining or grocery or travel or utility paid under budget i'll have for dining 30 which is under budget and the first name of the user now let's try to execute this statement the one rows inserted now the same value with some other categories like travel and uh, it is 130 and paid by credit rest will be the same so one more or you can have utility and uh, which is under budget and that is 50 some water bill or electric city bill so this is how we can insert the values for more interesting what you can do is just have m percent and the value will be your cost or price or any kind of value so if i execute this it will ask you for the value and i mentioned it 43 and this will be inserted as you can see so once it is done then make sure you commit the data values and check out your data in the master budget master budget table you can see here now once this insertion of data so next is what you can check with your expense or cost so select sum of cost or balance from for any specific user where user id is 
chain and and category is travel or you can chain so if you run this this will give you the cost or you can have simply for the budget where category is equal to travel you can see how much is done so 180 so this is how we can aggregate the methods and display these values in the table or any other front end object now once it is done then i can show you the reports like this you can create your report user defined report you can go to new report and i have the budget connection connect the budget connection the form you want suppose i want an alarm or budget control and you can have your query here select category from master budget where user id is so or you can have two values category and cost so that you can check your expense for that particular category and if you try to execute this this is your output or if I'll see this for cost 30 and 130 and 50 so this is you see point 33 now this is out of the gorge it's not it's like out of budget and 50 and 43 there is one more way you can see your budget report like this so this is the user defined report generation for personal budget database system so we have seen the demonstration and the design for the database specifically for personal budget database system Thank you so much for watching this video with me and please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming practice project ideas and solutions. Let's make coding fun.